Shalom, this is Victoria, and I have a selection of verses here. They're from Ephesians in chapter 1, and they are so rich and deep, and so I want to share these with you. Now, I'm going to begin with the Aramaic version, and this is the most ancient authoritative text. This is Ephesians chapter 1, beginning with verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven through Christ. Okay, so let's let's ponder on this for a minute. Okay, Jesus, who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heaven through Christ. Hallelujah. Praise Him forever. Then let's go to four. Just as from the beginning He has chosen us through Him before the foundation of the world that we may become holy and without blemish before Him. Hallelujah. Okay, so here's our scripture telling us we are chosen through Him before the foundation of the world. I mean, let that really sink in. Then let's look at that again, the next part, that we may become holy and without blemish before Him. We are to be separated. We are not to love the world, my friends. Okay, let's look at five. And He marked us with His love to be His from the beginning and adopted us to be sons through Jesus Christ as it pleased His will. Okay, so when we when we see this okay when it says he marked us this also matches with the marking or the sealing of the holy spirit because this is talking all saints let me read you this now this is from uh, a commentary saints refers to born again believers all believers are holy that is set apart or sanctified for god's purpose Okay, so when we see the word saints in our scriptures, it the Bible is referring to born again believers. That means spiritually born again, born with the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Okay, let's look at six. Again, this is Ephesians chapter one. Now I'm looking at verse six to praise to the praise of the glory of His grace that He has poured upon us by His Beloved One. Okay, so we're looking at the Father and Son and Holy Ghost. They are one, Echad. You'll find that if you take a look at Mark chapter 12. The Shema is there. The same as in Deuteronomy 6. Okay, alright, so let's go on with this. Let's read it again, verse 6, To the praise of the glory of His grace that He has poured upon us by His Beloved One. Alright, so this is Yeshua, the Beloved One. Okay, now take a look at 7. In Him, this is Yeshua, which means salvation. In Him, we have salvation. And in His blood, forgiveness of sins according to the richness of His grace. Hallelujah. So th these are amazing scriptures, my friends, aren't they? I mean, if you want to get excited, get so thrilled and excited over this. Chosen through Him. We are chosen before the foundation of the world. I mean, let that soak in. That That is just incredible that we may become holy without blemish. And what is he looking for in a, bro a bride? He, he's looking for those that are without spot 
nor wrinkle. Okay, so we want to be wise virgins, don't we? We want to be those that go in the rapture, the harpazo, the catching up. Hallelujah. Okay, so this this is to me uh, something to really pour over, pray over, let that all soak in. These are so rich, so, so very rich. Okay, now I'm going to read next out of, uh, this is King James. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. For according as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love. 5. Having predestinated us, unto the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. 6. To the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace praise him forever okay now i'm going to read out of this is the amplify version okay and we're looking again at ephesians chapter 1 beginning with verse 3 blessed and worthy of praise be the god and father of our lord jesus christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms in Christ. For just as he in his love he chose us in Christ actually selected us for himself as his own before the foundation of the world so that we would be holy that is consecrated set apart for him purpose driven and blameless in his sight in love. 5. He predestined and lovingly planned for us to be adopted to himself his own children through Jesus Christ in accordance with the kind intention and good pleasure of his will 6 to pray to the praise of his glorious grace and favor which he so freely bestowed on us in the beloved his son Jesus Christ 7 in him we have redemption, that is our deliverance and salvation, through his blood, which paid the penalty for our sin and resulted in the forgiveness and complete pardon of our sin in according with the riches of his grace. It's really good. I stopped right there, but I, I must say it's so important to read this, my friends, and to really let this soak in. So when you have time, go to scriptures and read Ephesians, especially chapter 1. And, let, and take a really deep, close look at this because it is so, so powerful. Hallelujah. Okay, thank you so much for listening. I pray you have a wonderful and very blessed day. God bless. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus saith unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him, and he with me.